Hello, and thank you for downloading Jesuit Pilgrimage. I'm Father Robert Balasser, the digital Jesuit, part of the communications team here at the General Curia in Rome. When Father General commissioned the app, he wanted us to tell the story of St. Ignatius. Not just the saint or the sinner, but the journey between the two. He knows the power of story, and he wanted to put that power into your hands. But before we get into the app, I'd like to show you some simple tips for onboarding, for starting the app, whether you're going to use it for personal edification, for your travels, or as a guide to take other people through Ignatian spirituality. When you first start the app, it's going to give you the choice to select your language. Of course, this is going to be quite easy. You're going to be able to choose English or Spanish, French, any of the number of languages that we will continue to add to the app. After selecting your language, it's going to show you some of the quick ways to navigate the menu. You have easy access to the locations of Ignatius' pilgrimage, to the various pieces of history that we have included, even to a real-time self-guided tour that would take you from location to location to location, just as Ignatius did in his days. The first thing that you need to know is that there's always a configuration menu that will let you adjust how the app looks to you. This is especially important if you're dealing with any accessibility issues. On the lower right hand corner, there is the icon that looks like a gear. In that setting screen, you will be able to select your language if you maybe selected the wrong language or if you need to change it for a different group, as well as the text size. This should give you complete control over how the app is seen on your mobile device, be it a phone or a tablet. 